1984. Is that a reasonable answer given what we know? Yeah. So this line is not far from being perpendicular to the ground because it is at 87 degrees. So these two sides should not be significantly different, and they're only different by a little bit. They should be pretty close to the same number. All right, ready for the last example? We have a new formula. We throw it in here just for fun. For those of you who've never seen it, now you know it's going to exist. The formula that we're using is called Perrin's formula. Perrin's formula is a formula for finding the area of a triangle if you know the length of the sides. What P stands for in Perrin's formula is the perimeter of the triangle. A, B, and C are the length of each of the three sides, and it doesn't matter which one is which because you do exactly the same thing to each one of them. So in this class, the book says that Perrin's formula is area equals one quarter of the square root of the perimeter times the perimeter minus two times one side times the perimeter minus two times another side times the perimeter minus two times the third side. And if I ever mess that up, just say, oh, no, that's not the one. I have teach this in another class, and they have a slightly different version of this formula. Instead of having P, they have an S, and S is defined as half of the perimeter, so they get to get rid of the quarter in the process. It does, they're both exact equivalent formulas. It's just, we give them the one that's in their book, we give you your one that's in your book. So, I have a triangular parcel of land. It has length, uh, sides of length 680 feet, 320 feet, and 802 feet. What is the area of the parcel of land? So that's question one. And question two is, if land is valued at $2,100 per acre, and an acre is 43,560 square feet, what is the value of the parcel that I have? Yes. You can't see the formula. So the formula set is one quarter. So I'll write it over here. One quarter times the square root of the perimeter times the perimeter minus two times one side times the perimeter minus two times another side times the perimeter minus two times the third side. All right, so what should I do? Do I even need to do that? The formula doesn't require me to actually draw the triangle. It tells me what my three sides are. I just need to find what? I need to find the perimeter. And you all know how to find the perimeter of a triangle, yes? Oh, how do you find the perimeter of anything? What is the perimeter? Maybe that's the better question. What is the perimeter of something? Yeah, the distance around. So in the case of triangles, it's taking the three sides and adding them all together. So it's not that you don't know how to do it, it's that word that did you add. That's okay, I already been over this in my other class. We talked about how to find the perimeter, you know, it's like you're walking around the outside of the thing, adding everything together, and I still had somebody send me one that looks like a house picture of something that looks kind of like a house and the kid will draw on a piece of paper and ask me, I don't have any idea how to find the front of the thing. And up the sides. I also point out there were only five of them because I was a little worried that they might be trying to add in the, the part where you separate the room from the, the house. All right, so I'm going to add to get my perimeter. It's going to be 680 plus 320 
1,802 minus 2 times, and I'm just going to go through the sides in the order that we wrote them down here, 680 times, uh, let's see, get all the parentheses in there, times 1,802 minus 2 times 320 times 1,802 minus 2 times 802. not working out for you, please tell me exactly what you typed into your calculator because that's going to be the only way I'll be able to figure out what in the world went wrong. Chances are you typed something in wrong. So when I did this, tell me if you guys did the same thing I did. I get 107019.815 square feet because each of these was in feet. Because it's easy to type it in wrong when it's three lines long. I just do it all at once. So between you and me, we kind of double check them. So that's how, that's the area. Land is valued at twenty-one hundred dollars per acre. An acre is forty-three thousand five hundred sixty square feet. How much is this worth? How do I find out the value? How much is that? Convert it to acres. So how do I change from square feet? So I have 107019.815 square feet over 1. If I do my unit conversion, what will I need to have on the top and what will I need to have on the bottom? One acre, one acre on top. And on the bottom I'll need 43,560. Square feet. When I do this, I'm basically going to divide 107,019.815 square feet by 43,560 square feet. And I get that this is approximately 2.456836891 acres. So what do I now do with that number? Multiply. multiply it times how much I can get paid for each acre. So I'll multiply that times 2100 and that will give me a value of 5,159 dollars and 36 cents because this is money. So we can round to two decimal places when we get to the end. I would not suggest rounding prior to that because the standard way for somebody to write this in a web work problem is to do exactly what we did here. And so it will have this whole number, remember? So if you round this, it could end up having this number be off by enough. Because even a penny might be sufficient in terms of being off. 